Hello my friends and welcome to episode 15. Now let's look at this briefing. We're going to raid the islands, okay. Attack enemy airfields and naval facilities here. Destroy many aircraft, fuel depots and shipping as possible. The end. So the briefing does not tell you about this island at all down there. Or that you should go there first. I don't know, man. It seems a pretty poor show to me. All right, let's buy a carrier and stick some planes on it. Interestingly, the your the Lexington class has got battleship like stats, whereas the Yorktown is, is just defensively superior, but that's it. Well, anyway, we're probably not going to use it on the front line, but it's interesting that it has this kind of battleship-like stats. Yeah, but its defense stats are horrible by comparison. One carrier. And three fires. That's what we need to do before we buy or deploy anything else. And we do not want to use any of these reserve ones because they will have less experience than me just purchasing fresh ones. Didn't I actually have a spare wildcat though? I guess not. There it is. No way, that's deployed units. All right, one carrier, three fires. I wish I could get rid of these. There's no, uh, there's no reason to have them in the list anymore. Get those fires, can get those fires in the air like now? No, it's my patrol boat. I'll deploy this cruiser later. What I'll do is I will purchase this. Repair this, and this patrol boat, since we were refunded very little for it last time, maybe I can um, get experience on it and then convert it into a different ship. You're not allowed to change categories, but it could become a destroyer at some point instead of a stupid patrol boat. I 
That's fine. I mean, these ships here, these three ships, have already got enormous EXP. And it feels like they're not necessary for this map. But anyway, you do get like 20 prestige a turn on this map, so it shouldn't be a problem. Extra damage against surface vessels. Let's put that in my one and only cruiser, actually. Mm, we don't want the carrier involved in any frontline action. Let's put it on the old patrol boat so it's got a little bit more power. As soon as I've got the money, I'll deploy additional naval units. Okay, there's nothing else I can deploy. That needs an airbase, which I don't have. Okay, guess that's it then. Was that defended by... I can't remember if it was defended by an anti-aircraft gun or not. just ravage that I'll stick with the general plan of going down here first Closer than that, because we know there's a light cruiser down there. first
so slow. It's ridiculous how slow they are. And I bet somehow that Japanese torpedo bomber and strategic bomber that go after the carrier know that they're down here as well. way that'll help okay that's got to be the light cruiser anti-aircraft guns appeared. Well, that's annoying. They teleported in. I'm not sure I really want to feed planes to an anti-aircraft gun. I'll leave them for now. I'll get back to destroying them later. deployment zone is a million years away. I'll send this immediately from here to here. Yeah, it's actually not worth it. I can destroy that later. He hit the silly patrol boat. This is the 
one that adds air defense. moves in the world, but hey. Poor patrol boat. chip damage on me there. We're alright to move forward now because they... Once I've cleaned up this area I can just bring all my forces together in one unified group and then uh, we're good to go. These guys are going to take off soon, whatever they are. It's like, who cares if the patrol boat dies, right? Okay, it's fine. 
Bobo! No! He never stood a chance. Oh well. He had less experience than a fresh ship, so it's whatever really. He absorbed a lot of damage that was meant for my uh, more important units. This must be the aircraft that I missed last time. Maybe it just never takes off. get the fuel tank and move on. Alright, all of this is going to be defended by the, um... All of this is going to be defended by uh, this anti-aircraft gun, which we're just going to ignore. Okay. actually destroyed two aircraft and then there's one there that's also crippled it's weird there must have been two in that hangar why can't I see the fuel drum wasn't it down here last time? No, it was here, wasn't it? So the only thing I needed to do down here was destroy those planes. Okay, well I don't see what that is, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so if all I had to do down there was destroy the planes, then there's a drum here one here and up here I've lost the plot now I can't remember where the drums are oh well I'll double check later um, Okay. Unrestrict this. It's 
Doesn't this guy add plus two against ships? Stick him on the sub. Alright, so the mission objectives are complete down there. Okay, we'll take out the AA gun as soon as possible so I can set my planes on the uh, on the island. Killing enemy ships seems to be relatively an easy objective to do. We just need to make sure that we keep moving towards these fuel drums and get them destroyed. For that, I need to double check where they are, but I think it's here and here, I think, is where they are, if I remember correctly not up here though there's aircraft up there but most of the aircraft I think will come for us I think Once I clear away the air defences, it'll be much easier for my planes to just go in and start destroying everything. It's like a supply ship and a gunboat. There's the AA gun. Finally, the fleet will be all together. I guess just killing those planes and moving on was probably the right move, but anyway. Isn't it the one that sneaks around the top?
pretty sure that that's the plane that sneaks around the top. range of the AA gun. Okay, I got him. Good clean hit. No return damage. Man, I am through half my turns already. Maybe you're just supposed to rush some bombers down there and just bomb those planes in the hangar and then get out. Okay, so I forgot about the support ship actually. Has oh, he's homing in. Seriously, look at him. He's on a direct line to my carriers. The enemy has never seen where they are. Get him, boys. you guys but I think that that is that is just uh, not cool in a strategy game but the other team just blatantly has a uh, map hack for want of a better word Literally, for want of a better word, the enemy has map hacks. Okay.
Only ten turns left. I feel like the correct strategy might have been to send planes down here just to strafe the hangar until there's no aircraft left and to go directly for this just to save time. Okay, well, I think, I think we're still on course to be fine. The last drum, I may have to suicide planes to get it, potentially. We'll see. If I f go at full speed towards it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can just make it. In fact, there are 11 turns left. Eight turns to get there is plenty. We'll just have to have the fighters clean up this drum. And also take time to uh, rotate them. Refuel and rotate. As needed. even have the carriers engage it. Just got to watch out for that strap bomber. No damage. Killing 10 ships shouldn't be too hard. We've already downed 5. The, the, the subs will get another 2 pretty readily. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.